Hi everyone, it's Erin with Poppies and Goldfish and today's video is going to be how to make fabric washi tape stickers. What do I mean? Well, these two cute little guys, these are stickers made from fabric and double-sided tape. We use carpet tape and these are just a ton of fun. The possibilities are endless because of the fabric choices that you have and how you place it on the fabric. It's just a lot of fun. Let me show you. I put one of these in my planner up in October and it's really cute. It's a fun texture. It's, it's just really, really neat project. And I want to show you how to do it. So let's get started. Here are the items we're going to need to complete this project. You're going to need some scraps or fabric. You're going to need carpet tape. You're going to need your rotary blade for your Cricut. Now you might think you might need uh, your fabric mat, but I'm going to use my, I have it labeled my oldest mat because I'm going to tape everything down. So it doesn't really matter what mat you use. You need some scissors. Um, some blue painters tape or green, whichever you prefer, and a good straight edge to cut your tape with. So the very first thing we want to do is pick out some fabric. And I have, um, I'm a quilter, if you don't know that already. So I have, I save my scraps. So these are all scraps from when I was uh, or I do quilt and when I've made quilts before so we just want to find something kind of fun that could be a cute I'm gonna do a pumpkin sticker so this fabric could be really cute let's try it and maybe one more this one is really cute too I mean they're all they would all look really cute with the pumpkin that's really cute as well. I might leave that one out too. I made a Halloween quilt, so I've got a lot of great oranges. So let's put that to the side. Now I might want to iron that, but I'm not going to. So we will wing it and see how it goes. So let's just get the fabric laid out that we know we want to use. And that looks pretty good. Now, a, a quick tip, uh, this carpet tape. So it is super sticky and it's sticky on the sides too. Um, I just saved the plastic bag that it came in and to try to get it back in the bag until you've used some is really difficult, but I use it to set it on because it is, you can hear, it's sticky and you don't want it getting all over other surfaces. So that's just a tip. I kind of keep it on my plastic bag. So we're going to use this carpet tape and I always put a piece of paper or a piece of material on the edge just so it's easier to peel up. This is super sticky and it has a paper backing. So these are going to work just like stickers when we're done. We'll cut something out and then we'll leave the paper backing and then the end user, if that's you or if you sell them, you can simply peel that away and stick it wherever you want to. And I would definitely say that this with the carpet tape is very uh, much permanent sticker. So let's just lay this on here. <clears throat> Hmm, how do I want to do that? Because I think I want my pumpkins cut out this way. And that's how I'm going to do this. So let's just lay this on there. Kind of smooth it out. And I'm going to cut off the extra. Now this is where my quilting tools comes in handy because I have a rotary blade. And this is super nice. And I'm just going to kind of overlap this. I'll probably put my pumpkin in design space where I want it exactly on the mat. I 
just want to be sure that I don't go over 12 inches or, you know, 11 and whatever. <clears throat> so this will just kind of be my guide because I want to fit it on just one small mat. Okay, I can get one more on there, probably the stars. Yep, those wrinkles just smooth right out. That carpet tape is super sticky. And I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. Now let's go ahead and so what I'm going to do is this is ripped a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut right there. And these scissors have been used for everything, so they don't cut fabric at all. If you see me struggling. I'm just going to leave that piece of fabric on there so I can get a hold of the end the next time. You can see that. Okay. So we have this. And I don't really think that I need it, but I have this handy roller, so I am just going to roll it. Oh, and you know what? I saw like a little wrinkle. Um, roll out when I did that. So that's probably a good habit to get into. And I went about eight months without one of these rollers and now I just can't, I use it for all kinds of things. So I really like having it. This was just a little bit longer than 12 inches, so I'll probably trim this down just so I can tape it on more easily. So kind of keep track of where your tape is, and if you need to, if you need to trim one side, that's fine. I'm just kind of guessing you could use your straight edge for this if you'd like. Because you're trying to maximize the two inch width of your carpet tape. And so in design space, when you move your pieces around, you'll want to know you're exactly on the one inch line or on this line. I always move it over to the one inch just because um, that way... I have a little room to work with when I'm taping it down. So now let's just tape it to the mat. Get it pretty close. And just go all the way around. You might not have to do the bottom, but you're here. Let's just do it all. So you don't want it to have any issues when you get down the line. Now, do we have to tape this off? I don't know. You know what? We'll, um, we're going to leave it and see if it has any issues. I don't think that it will have any. Now, when we are um, moving this in design space, we'll want to pay attention to these seams and where they line up. So I know that I can't really go any farther than three and a half inches with if I put one or two pumpkins here. I think I can only get one. And so then, then when I place the next one, I need to put it down. And you can even pay attention to the pattern that you have if you want. Um, and then, of course, this one is at about seven inches, so I want to skip down for that. I have my three pumpkins that I want to try out right here. This one in the center, this might be a little too intricate, but I want to give it a shot and see how it goes. So I have them all the same color. I'm going to go over to Make It. <clears throat> and you see it puts it on here how it best thinks. So we definitely want to move this because remember we started over on the one inch line. So we just want to make sure our tape is two inches wide so if we put it right on the one inch line we know that we have over to the two inch line. 
So just kind of center that up. And you can reference your mat and kind of look and see if maybe you want to drop it down just a little bit. And I might, I might want to just drop it down a little bit. Um, and to, my next seam um, is at three and a half. So I know that this pumpkin has to be below three and a half. So I'll just put him right in there somewhere. Kind of like maybe him a little bit lower. And let's give this one a try. And we need to be below seven inches. So we'll put it right here. Now typically I wouldn't use um, three different fabrics if I didn't have to, but this is just another way of doing it and I wanted to show that as well. We don't need a mirror or anything, so we say continue. So we are going to choose canvas and you will need to browse all materials, go into fabric and find canvas. Um, I've made it a favorite so it pops up here. I'm gonna click on canvas. I'm going to say more pressure and I do not have my rotary blade in the clamp so I am going to go do that right now and then press go. Okay so now that we have moved over to the table we are going to remove all of our blue painters tape and just a note be sure that you have done um, a test cut. So just cut one sticker out, a test, maybe an old mat, just to make sure that that setting for fabric, canvas, and extra pressure works for you because I don't want you to cut your mat. This is just my experience, so it gives you a starting point. Make sure you taped it down really well. I think I mentioned earlier, you might not need to tape it all the way, but all four sides need to be taped, maybe not every inch. And if you overlap onto the design where it's gonna cut, where you can kind of see I've had some little pieces, that is just fine. There's no problem with that. They just come right off. So you definitely want to keep that secure on your mat. As we turn it over, you can see, yep, it's cut all the way through. It's looking good. These first ones that I popped out, I kind of thought, hey, maybe they didn't cut all the way through because I could definitely feel some resistance, but that resistance is just simply the carpet tape is so strong and it's just kind of sticking itself back together and it was no problem. And you're gonna have a few little loose threads and that's fine, but look how adorable it turned out. I love our fabric placement, the pattern placement, turned out great. Um, that's gonna be so happy in our my little planner. Now this bottom pumpkin, the orange with the stars, this is the one where we had the face on it. And uh, that was kind of a test to see how that did. And it actually did really well. But oddly enough, the top of the pumpkin had just a little bit of trouble um, on all of these three pumpkins. That stem where it kind of cuts in, um, that it works, it's okay. But I went ahead and I sliced off that um, stem and welded on a new stem from another pumpkin and I think that it works better. It cuts a little cleaner without the little threads. So I think it'll be a good go-to pumpkin for me. So there's the one with the stars on his face and he's so cute and happy. I love it. I love Halloween. And these look amazing. So these were not the right scissors for this job, but um, grab you a really small pair of really sharp scissors to trim off any threads or spots that might need it. Uh, these weren't bad, they didn't need it too bad. Um, sometimes you can just pull off the little threads too. They don't usually go very far. And now you can see that we leave that paper backing on that we just have a sticky backed piece of fabric. So we have a sticker. Turned out really cute. I think they'd be fun to sell. And I believe this is where I am talking about that stem was just a little bit finicky and in that, that corner there. Uh, it's just a little bit tight, I think, for the rotary cutter to get good clean cut. Um, and you know, from far away, it looks just fine. I mean, it looks fine on this video, uh, but I wasn't super happy with it. So I slight again, I sliced off the stem. I cut off a stem off a different pumpkin that was a little bit straighter 
and welded it on and came up with a basically a new pumpkin that, that cuts much better. So you just kind of have to play around with it. You definitely don't want anything real intricate. It's not going to work. I have tried it. Didn't work. So these are super cute, guys.